Uh, but yeah, yeah, any any studies on adults uh, who were uncircumcised and then became circumcised and, and the consequences? Yeah, so there are there are a couple of studies on this, and they're very interesting to talk about. Uh, so the first thing to realize when you're talking about adult circumcision is that these adults are not randomly sampled from the population. Uh, these are people who, for whatever reason, are seeking out a circumcision, whether be because uh, it's for a cultural reason or because they have a specific problem, one of the rare problems that can sometimes befall a foreskin, and, and circumcision is what they consider to be, uh, in consultation with their doctor, the appropriate treatment. Um, I, I'm, I, I guess a more specific example would be somebody converts to um, Islam or somebody converts to Judaism for marriage reasons or for whatever reasons, and then they have uh, a circumcision. Uh, so in, in a case like that, where they're otherwise healthy. Yeah. So uh, there is a study from uh, Korea, South Korea, where circumcisions were picked up from the American military in the 1950s. It didn't used to be done there. Uh, and during the occupation, it became a cultural habit in Korea. The difference, though, is that they do it later in life. They don't do it in infancy because they consider infants too fragile. Uh, and something like 60% of those men experienced uh, decreased sexual sensation, uh, pleasure, uh, for all satisfaction, 20% experience oh, no. Im improvement. Uh, they have these, these uh, figures for sort of masturbatory pleasure, uh, different kinds of things. And what they found was that in the case where you have a legitimate before and after measurement, um, the majority of the cases experienced uh, uh, loss of sensation, loss of enjoyment, and so forth. Um, Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash sjme.